Welcome to the kitchens of Brewbot. My name is Anand Morvani and I'm the executive chef here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a very easy chicken starter. It's uh, called a chicken rotolino. It, you can also call it a chicken wrap here. Yeah. So let's start. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some chicken supremes and then we're just going to flatten them out. Yeah. What I've got here is a chicken supreme which I've just flattened out using a mallet. The easiest way to do this would be to spread some cling film on your board on which you lay your supremes and over which you put another cling film and just mallet it down so that not to damage it too much. Also the meat stays better. Also it's easier to roll the whole thing. So the best way to do it is this way. All we've done is mallet it down and added some olive oil, some mixed dried herbs some garlic and a little bit of chili flakes. So to assemble these awesome uh, chicken roulades, what we're going to do is we're going to take some sun-dried tomato pesto. What's gone into this is just some sun-dried tomatoes. You can get sun-dried tomatoes out of a can. Just make sure not too much of the olive oil goes in with it. Uh, take out the sun-dried tomatoes, add a little bit of garlic, a little bit of pine nuts, some parmesan and just put on your mixer and let it just come together. And when it comes together, just add drizzle in a little bit of olive oil just to make it a better, like more emulsified, voluminous mixture. So what I'm gonna do now is just take about a spoonful of this and I'm just gonna spread it over my chicken. It's nice, that's on there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, lay some beautiful mortadella, which we have sliced up over here. So I'm just gonna take slices of these and just lay them vertically, the way I plan on rolling my roulade. So there we have our mortadella. Next thing we're going to do is add some fresh basil leaves. Yeah, there we go. That's one, that's two, three, and four. Now over this, what I've done is I've taken some mozzarella. It's easily available everywhere. You can check at your local grocer. And you, all you need to do is just cut out triangles of these and you're good to go. So you just lay one in the center. Now is the part where you want to fold it. So this is where you want to really pay attention. So the first thing you want to do is using your cling film. I'm just going to leave it a little covered and then just gently press it down so as to close the ends of the chicken. Now I'm going to delicately repeat this carefully. And then again, ever so slightly, just seal our meats together. Then we're going to open this. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll this roulade very easily using the cling film again. You want to make sure it's all the way till your mozzarella. And really all you need to do, again, the technique is very simple. Roll it back. Once it's coated, use your fingers to push the meat together. And there you go. And then just push it over and then turn it and seal it. And all we have to do now is just leave this on our side. It's really that simple. There's nothing more to it. So I'll just, I'll show you all one more so that everyone is thorough with the technique. A little bit of sun-dried tomato pesto. Then we're going to add our ham. Followed by the basil. Two, three, four. There we go. And our cheese. There we go. Now again, you want to do the sides first. just on the sides a little bit. Now while we're completing our rolls, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly start our pan. Get some nice extra virgin olive oil in there. So, as we were, we just continue rolling 
our beautiful chicken and then finish off with the other side and just enclose it delicately again using your fingers and making sure that the edges are tightly sealed as well. Now our pan as you can see, whew, it's nice and hot and smoky. We're going to let that cool down just a little bit before we get our meat on that. Yeah, we're ready. Nice and smoking hot. And then all you want to do is make sure you put your chicken on your seam side so as to seal it first. Now whenever you're laying down a piece of meat, very basic rule, always lay it away from you so as no oil will spill on you as much. Make sure it doesn't stick and just give it a nice overall colour. Ideally, for all home cooks, I would say do this on a non-stick pan so that it's a lot easier. You don't have to pay too much attention to the chicken when it's in there. So now we've cooked it for some time. Uh, it's been about, let's say, about eight minutes. This cooks pretty quick. Uh, this is how it looks, eight minutes into it. To test it, all you can do is dip your little knife. It comes down and tips, uh, touches the tip of your uh, lip. You feel a little warm. It's done, it's good to go. So while this is in the pan, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some balsamic vinegar. To this, we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil. Just going to add a little bit of salt to this. A little bit of pepper. Finally, a little bit more salt. Okay, and we're ready to toss this. There we go. So we can get this on our board here. So there go in our beautiful rockets. And that should be enough. We're gonna take off this. Let's just give this a nice toss. Again, be sure that uh, your leaves are absolutely dry before you add your dressing because otherwise it's not going to stick to your salad and it's going to be pretty tasteless. There. We have our beautiful rockets. So now we're ready to plate. So in goes our Lovely chicken rotolinos. Yeah. So that's our chicken rotolino. And uh, just to give it a little bit of a garnish, I'm going to add some roasted pepper sauce, which we earlier prepared. And I have some lovely toasted pine nuts. So I'm just going to give it a nice coating of some pine nuts on each. Let's do some fried basil. Just want to give it a quick fry and then out. Excellent. And we just get that out here. Just give that a little rest. And we just go and one, two, and three. So there we go. That is our chicken rotolino with roasted peppers, fried basil, and pine nuts. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for being with us.